not good. The forge quits. 57 minutes. I don't think we're gonna get it finished. Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Today, we're gonna get back into part two of the hammer to knife transformation. We're taking a three pound S-wing hammer and we're gonna turn it into an apocalyptic zombie slayer knife in three hours. So let's get right into it. <laughs> for the design of this knife, I thought it'd be really fun to do something kind of crazy and far out there. So I was kind of going for like, apocalyptic zombie slayer look with this kind of curved up cleaver type mean just I wanted something mean and choppy really choppy with that three pound hammer so for the first two hours I was pretty laid back and kind of like giving a tutorial on what I'm doing and stuff but then when I saw there was only one hour left I was like oh no this knife is not gonna get done <laughs> So I started scrambling like crazy after that, throwing sanding belts around and throwing buffing wheels and having a good old time, trying not to cut my fingers off or grind my fingers off. It normally takes me three days minimum to make a knife for like a really simple little hunter, but most projects I work on these days take me anywhere from three to six or even eight weeks or so to make. Heat tree time. It got hard, the, the file's skipping right off of it. All right, let's turn the forge off. Maybe it warped a little bit, but we don't have time to care about it. Back to the grinder. Temper time, TT. So I don't want the blade to break, so uh, we're gonna temper it uh, just in case to make sure it's not too hard. I normally use the heat treating oven, but uh, that takes a couple hours, so gonna do it the old-fashioned method, which isn't as precise, but it's all I can do right now. We're gonna use the torch and go by the color. Move this over here in case I get it too hot and dunk it in there. Right now we are at two hours and 21 minutes. Oh, that almost got hot there. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. This is gonna be a mess. That's how. That's gonna be so messy though. Something's not right. I finally got the rope all untangled, then I had to remember how to do the paracord wrap over the tang. I hadn't done that since my journeyman performance test, and that was in 2009. So it'd been a few years, and I had to remember right there on the spot how to do it. I think I got a couple of the knots backwards, but mostly I got it right. <laughs> Oh no, I messed one up right there. No! My hands are cramping. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm in pain. Three minutes.
Minute 30. You gotta chop that two by four. Yeah! Woo! Oh! 30 seconds to spare! My favorite part about this knife was how little time I had to make it. I normally take my time and, it, and I'm extremely methodical and super, super careful. But with this knife, I had to just blow through it as fast as I could. Thank you. 